In the letter written to the Prime Minister, PNG Chamber of Resources and Energy indicated that National Gold Corporation Bill will have a serious negative impacts on existing mining projects, grassroots alluvial gold miners, PNG's financial sector, the Bank of PNG, the Mineral Resources Authority, the police and other state agencies, as well as international investment confidence in PNG. The industry highlighted that although the Prime Minister promised consultations in 2021 with the industry and a parliamentary committee that included Don Polier and Gary Jufa was appointed, no meaningful consultation has occurred. The industry has been blindsided by the resurrection of the bill. PNG Chamber of Resources and Energy is concerned that the bill will create a National Gold Corporation, National Gold Bank and National Gold Mine to be majority owned by a foreign company by taking key powers from the central bank and MRA, including holding the country's gold reserves, the foreign right to issue a legal tender and regulation of good exports. The issuing of national currency is a sovereign right usually reserved to the country's central bank, but for the first time, the bill proposes to also give this right to a Singaporean-based company. Some of the key concerns of PNG Co. are as follows. They indicated that this destructive bill will have a significant negative impacts on the gold sector, relevant state agencies, and the economy in general. PNG CORE urges the national government to engage transparently with the industry and not to progress this bill to parliament. Louis Mangu, National MTV News.